All right, there's the fish and shanty. Good thing. Oh my gosh. We can pet the cat. <laughs> oh, I'm here for this. What a cute little roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kim Chica and we are doing another first impressions video, which means we are jumping into another indie game demo. Today we're playing Battle Cakes, which is being published and developed by Volcano Bean. And I'm very excited to play this. Uh, it's adorable and I love cupcakes and baked goods and it looks like they have cats and treats and it just seems very happy and that's kind of what I need right now. So uh, yeah, let's jump into Battle Cakes. Uh, as always with these demos, um, if you are interested in the game, I highly encourage you to wishlist the, the title or find these folks on social media. Battle Cakes is available for wishlist on Steam right now. And while this demo is available via the Steam Festival, uh, and that's why I'm playing it, I highly encourage you to check and see uh, if it's available after that, because I'm not sure if it will be still available, and if it is, you can play it as well. And if not, if you follow and wishlist, you'll find out if they ever do release it for another digital event in the future. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so name, Birthday Sprinkle. I kind of like that name. I'm just gonna accept. Um, oh my gosh, wait, we have... <laughs> okay, we could do a, a, a traditional swirl. A nice mohawk. Ooh, some wavy hair. Oh, a braid. Oh my gosh. I kind of like there was a sort of emo swoop happening. <laughs> Melted frosting. Um, just so we can see the cute face, I'm going to keep it at a traditional swirl. More options. Oh, frosting color. Oh my goodness. A little, little fancy frosting. Okay. Well, wow. Cake color. Oh! Oh my gosh, okay, so wait, we definitely want frosting because I, I didn't know, oh my god, I can't even speak. We could go with, uh, oh, I want to go with something. We could go with traditional yellow cake. I do like a traditional, oh, and we could put, I love a good winged liner, so we'll definitely have that. Um, okay, oh my gosh, there's so many options, I'm just sort of running ahead. It could be like a strawberry. Okay, I actually might do this. I am basically the strawberry version of a cupcake. <gasps> Here I am. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. Okay, so let me try using gamepad. I was using my mouse and keyboard to customize, but um, <laughs> that walk. Um, house of historicalness. Hi. Hey, hey, it's the battle cakes. I know you three are busy saving pas pas pastelaria from certain doom and all, but I'm glad you're here. There's always time to help out a friend in Oh, that's me. <clears throat> There's always time to help out a friend in need. What's going on, Chuck? Looks like you've got your hands full. Well, every year I try to come out and give this fun house of mine a good old-fashioned tune-up. Peak fun house season is right around the corner. <gasps> Red Velvet. Wait a hot second. There's a fun house season? Like this is a normal thing, not just a charmingly weird marketing stunt you cooked up? Either way, you've got my attention. Are you kidding? Any day now, cakes will be lined up for miles. Anywho, I could use an extra set of hands this year. Think you're up to helping your old pal Chuck out of a jam? Um, yeah. Count us in. See that? Didn't even hesitate. Let me in that fun house. Wow, love the enthusiasm. But, uh, don't you want to hear more charming exposition? Typically, yes, of course. But today's adventurer just wants to get into the action with all, without all the jibber-jabber. Fair enough, birthday sprinkle. Without any further delay, let's get down to things both nitty and gritty. <laughs> this is cute. Part of my yearly tune-up typically involves chasing away any stray honey buns that might have moved in during the off-season. But I also really need to get those spooky critter decorations off the facade. I'm aiming for a more historicalness vibe, you know? Oh hey, what if we went in there and cleared out these honey buns? With red velvet and midnight truffle by my side, well... Wait, birthday sprinkle. I sense an aura of instability and shoddy craftsmanship. Perhaps it would be wise to keep your distance. Oh my gosh, the jelly bean scepter. Or I guess wizard's staff. Shoddy, get out of here. This place is built tougher than a cast iron algebra exam. <laughs> oh! 
Yikes, uh, sorry gang. I gotta get this back up before I can let you in. Liability and all that. In the meantime, go grab a Chuck Pass TM from the Fish and Shanty. You'll need it to get in. Oh, Chuck Pass? Wait, why do we need a Chuck Pass TM? The door is literally right there. Can't you just let us in? This old butte has an old subway turnstile working the door, fully automated, just like in Bunt City. <laughs> Bunt City! Won't open without him. No. Oh well, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned fish quest, am I right? Back in a jiffy, to the fishin' shanty! Thanks a bunch, birthday sparkle. Hurry back and I can almost- I can almost hear the crowds gathering as we speak. Alright, so we need to get that Chuck Pass TM. Let's go- oh my gosh, the cardboard exterior to this place. The movement is so smooth looking, so nice. Alright, there's the fishin' shanty, good thing- oh my gosh. We can pet the cat! <laughs> oh, I'm here for this. What a cute little roll. Okay, so before going to the fish and shanty, I just want to do a little bit of exploring. <laughs> Birthday sprinkle. Oh, hey there. Everything okay here? Wait a second. Isn't that wheel supposed to be on the wagon? And, you know, not broken? Cranston. Hey, you're not wrong. Personally, I blame this daggone road. It's definitely not wide enough for old Gertrude here. You mean your wagon? You named your wagon Gertrude? Yep. Hand-built in marzipan. One of a kind. Big enough to live in, but even better for shipping goods all over pastel Pastelaria. <laughs> At least she would be with all four wheels intact. <laughs> well, folks, I'd love to sit and gab, but I gotta sort this out so I can get back on the road. Good luck! If you need anything, just holler. Well, come and get us, then holler. Just standing here hollering in open field might would look mighty weird. <laughs> oh, I want to hang out with- now I want pie. Is it weird that I see these cute critters and now I just want to eat snacks? <gasps> Fish and shell- oh my gosh. Lily! You look like a delicious cake with fondant on the top. Welcome to Fish and Shanty, home of the fabulously famous Fish Whistle. Anyway, we're kind of closed right now, so you might want to come back later. Um, Fish Whistles? Okay, you're gonna have to say it again. I'm not sure I heard you right. In fact, if you could say it three times fast, that would be amazing. Hey, don't joke. Fish Whistles are the future of fish finding. They're also pretty much the only thing keeping Fish and Shanty afloat right now. Figuratively, you realize. They, they don't actually float. Fair enough. Well, what do you think maybe we can get just get a Chuck Pass, TM? We're here to help get Chuck's Funhouse up and running for the season. Sorry, but my boss would like to have my name badge in an instant. Would have my name badge in an instant if I opened shop without a fully stocked inventory of fish whistles. Uh, I think maybe we can help. But first, can you tell us more about these fish whistles? Well, we were supposed to get our monthly shipment from Bunt City today. Usually a grumpy old cobbler shows them delivers them, but like in a wagon? But so far he's a no-show, it's mildly inconvenient. Relax, the battle cakes are on your side, and if there's one thing we're good at, it's going out of our way to help cakes overcome mild inconveniences with the power of teamwork. Whoa, real life heroes. Okay, I'll tell you what, as I have, as soon as I have my fish whistles, that Chuck Pass TM is as good as yours. <gasps> yeah! Alright, well hey, let's go back to that grumpy old cobbler and see if we can offer a helping hand. Excuse me, can we maybe deliver these by hand for you? Well folks, I'd love to sit and gab, but I gotta sort this out so I can get back on the road. Oh, Lily is looking for her delivery. A shipment of fish whistles? Was she telling the truth about that or am I getting pranked here? The future of fish finding? Got him right here. But this stern wagon blew a wheel and now I don't know if they'll ever get delivered. Oh. No worries, friendo. The battle cakes are here to help. If you're okay with it, we can deliver those fish whistles for you. You you do that? For me? I don't know what to say. Are you sure about this? I mean, fish and shanty is right over there. You could probably throw those whistles the rest of the way. It's really no big deal. Gosh, thanks a million. Let me just go ahead and give you these bills of lading, lading? Lading? Along with these goods receipts. I need the goldenrod copy back. She keeps the periwinkle copy. You definitely don't want me handling your paperwork. Trust me, these fish whistles on the other hand, as good as delivered. All right. Boop a doop a doo doo doo. 
Okay, so... Have you found the fish whistles? I'm getting nervous here. Oh, you really did it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Here's your Chuck Pass TM. All in a day's work for the battle cakes. Wait, you named yourself? Like, a pop band? Oh gosh, are you three famous or something? Not yet, but here's hoping. The merchandising opportunities alone are enough to set my frosting aflutter. I can't wait to tell my study group that I met a real life... I met real life celebrities. And hey, thanks to you, Fish and Shanty is now open for business. <gasps> Yay! It's hero time! Can we purchase anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe in the full game we can do a little bit of shopping. Ba da 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 all right, there we go, right as rain. Actually, rain might be a fundamental flaw in my design. Yeah, it looks like it's cardboard. <laughs> oh well, you ready to get to work? Heck yeah. Look out, honey buns, here come the battle cakes. Go get them, champ. Little tykes all across past Pastelleria are counting on you. No pressure. Oh boy. Ha! Ah, they're so cute. Also, you look so diabolical. Hawk, what villainy is this? Intruders in our sacred home beset by brigands? Inconceivable. Uh, hold up. Is this part of the act? Do you work for Chuck? I'm so confused right now. Yes. Have you no sense of decorum? You address the critiquing, wretched knave. Henchmen, dispose of this riffraff. No! Fighting honey buns! Oh, that's cute, the little time bar that's moving forward. Oh my god. All right, so we have Birthday Sparkle. Sprinkle is moving first. Red Velvet has a crossbow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we can battle. Bef Ooh, befriend. Items, defend, or retreat. I kind of want to try befriending. Can we joke first? Honey buns, do you like jokes? Um, Let's do a balloonicorn. Let's really try to impress these... Oh, well, they liked it. Okay. Let's use friendly magic on that same honey bun. I wonder if we get that bar all the way up, we can uh, maybe not have to destroy them. That's a very cute option. Oh, victory. <gasps> cute. That's wonderful. Because I don't want to hurt these honey buns. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, I don't know if there's a benefit to doing attack or choosing to befriend, but I love that there's that option. Okay. Halt, villain! Truly your persistence knows no bounds! My gods are eager to teach you another lesson in humility. Wait. <laughs> Do I smell fish? Oh, I'll find you some. You want fish? Like, that's oddly suspic- <laughs> Specific? <laughs> had so much trouble saying that word lately, but also incredibly convenient. You could probably get some over it. Yes, pay tribute to this court in a tithe of fish, and we shall grant you an audience. Okay, I guess it couldn't hurt. Uh, sit tight, Your Majesty. We'll be right back with some fish. Excellent. In matters of fish, we are patient, but do not tarry long. Okay, so maybe we can lure him out with some fish. Let's do this. Go back to... <laughs> The fish whistle product is a little bit more timely than, than initially we thought. Okay, sorry, I also just realized my mouse has been on the screen this whole time. How embarrassing. I wonder, we have first aid, ma maple syrup, uh, and rainbow splash, but I, I want I want the, the fish stuff. Where's a fish whistle? Maybe I, there, is, there was a fishing rod on the dock. Maybe we can use it? Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh! My bad! I'm sorry! Well, that was- that was a bust. Maybe I have to enter and exit again to- to bring back that fish. Do 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 do. If I had the fish whistle, I maybe wouldn't have had to- to mess that up. Oh! There we go. Okay. Alright, fish. Let's wait for that exclamation point. Animal Crossing style. Oh! Yay! A surly kuda kuda fish. Oh! <laughs> That's adorable. Alright, so we got a fish. 
now it is time to bring our tithe <laughs> to the Critter King, who somehow has ended up in Chuck's Funhouse. Wherever are the fish I requested? Behold, here's some fish just like you asked for, and without a fish whistle, I might add. Which, by the way, were harder to come by than the fish. Thanks, capitalism. <laughs> You have our gratitude, horrid peasants. We humbly accept this gift of fish. However, we regret to inform you that this has all been a clever subterfuge. A fool's errand. Ah, <laughs> oh, crumbs. Why is it always a clever ruse? Just once, I would love not to get duped by someone who refers to themselves in the third person. Oh, no! All right, well, let's see if we can befriend the honey buns first. And then... We'll try it out on the Critter King. Boom, 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 boom. All right, friendly magic. We'll do this on this honey bun because I bet you the other one will become our friend by the end of the turn. Look, balloons from Red Velvet. Oh, it didn't like balloons as much as as the other the other thing. This is good music too. All right, I'm gonna juggle for the Critter King because I think that's, a King would probably very much enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, he seems very much like that. All right, so let's do a balloon for that honey bun and friendly magic for this one. And then we should be able to get the Critter King by the next round because all of them will focus their attention on him. Cute, and you can see that they're happy that they're befriended when, <laughs> befriended for the honeybees. Uh, the befriended because they're bouncing and smiling at me. Oh, thwap! All right, one more, one more. See, here's a little balloon. Yay! Victory! Ooh, and we leveled up. Both characters. Oh, is it gonna be all three? Yeah, cute. All right, so, so shines a good deed in a weary world. I am moved to cheers by your charity, filthy peasants. So would you mind perhaps conducting your kingly business in some other poorly constructed roadside attraction? I shall grant you this boon, and behold, I offer you this token of friendship. I call it the Circle of Sweetness. A wagon wheel? Hey, hey, a wagon wheel. This is just what Cranston needs to get back on the road. How exciting, and oddly convenient. Let's head back over to that wagon by the fish and shanty and do one more good deed for the day. Oh, I love this! I am very happy with this game and so excited to play more. I know that the demo is probably coming to a close and I don't want it. How to go in there with those honey buns? Are we open for business? <laughs> that was awesome! Holy smokes, where to start? There was a king, the honey buns were under his tyrannical thrall, and he demanded a ransom of fish, and then victory. Wait, wait, we can use this, but there needs to be a hook. What if the Critter King plans to bequeath his kingdom to the honey bun that loves him the most? Ooh, and then. Say, is it just me, or is that a customer I see down the road a bit? <laughs> well, this is no time for complicated narrative structures. I gotta get back to work. Thanks again, birthday sprinkle. Yay! All right, and we just gotta deliver this wheel. Oh! <laughs> Cranston! Hey there, Cranston, look at what we found. What in tarnation? You found a whole goddarn wheel. Where? How? Um, never give up. <laughs> I firmly believe in the fine art of of persistent optimism. Everything has a way of working itself out in the end, except maybe the dishes. Shucks, I wouldn't look a gift will in the spokes. Thanks, partner. You really fri flipped the script on this old Cooger's bad luck streak. No cake left behind, Cranston. Besides, what was I gonna do with a wheel wagon? Use it as a makeshift captain's wheel in a pirate ship themed treehouse? Dang it, that's the perfect use for a used wagon wheel. Why am I cursed with such great upcycling ideas? 
It's so cute and wholesome. Holy moly. And the full game is coming 2021. Um, as all of the information is below. Volcano Bean is a great group of people. I had the pleasure of meeting some of their team uh, at GDC a few years back, and it was just so lovely getting to talk with them. Um, and just wishlist battle cakes. Wishlist it on Steam if you're looking for a lovely game that's got options like not having to battle. I think that's so wonderful. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of in this like happy place now. It's got those like slightly cheesy jokes, really quirky characters. I'm very excited to um, learn a little bit more about the other two members of Battle Cakes, Red Velvet and I am blinking, I'm so sorry, Midnight Truffle, I believe. Um, I'm excited to learn more about them and their personalities. And yeah, just what a lovely, lovely experience to have. So again, wish us the game, find it on Steam, Follow the developers, that way you know if the demo is, uh, the demo is currently only available because of the Steam Games Festival, and that's why I'm playing a bunch of demos right now and just trying to create a nice, like, backlog of videos, but if you follow them, perhaps the demo will become available or is still available and you can try this out your own, customize your own cupcake. Um, and see if you would like to try combat, if that provides an alternate ending to the story. So. With that, um, I just hope you all are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Uh, oh, and with that, um, please consider following this channel if you enjoy indie game coverage. Again, this is a uh, first impression, so this is a series where I just play demos that are available and try to give you insight on games that I'm personally very excited about um, and how they feel so far. There are also curated lists every month on releases, games that I'm anticipating, things that I hope you can keep an eye on, um, as well as reviews and longer Let's Plays. I also stream on twitch.tv slash kimchika if you're interested in hanging out in real time. And with that, I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, that you're finding lots of indie games to play, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.